very cloudy but I at least wanted to document where the full big strawberry moon of 2022 is so just some reference points for me at my perspective it rose or came towards me at 129 degrees where is that in relation to the equator okay so the equator is there 90 degrees from Polaris. The Tropic of Capricorn, where the sun rises on December 21st, is right there. And the moon is even below that tonight, rising at 129. So we got the strawberry moon, Capricorn, equator, way over there. You can't even see it, the Tropic of Cancer. So the Tropic of Cancer is way over there. That's where the sun is going to be rising on June 21st. So yeah, this is probably the best look I'm going to have at the strawberry moon for about another couple hours. Who knows? We got a lot of clouds. But I at least wanted to document the lowest, widest arc of the year for the moon. May was also at 129, but uh, in traditionally June is the lowest, widest moon of the year. So astronomy updates on a flat Earth here. June 13th. It's about 9.30 p.m. So the moon rose and no, so about 9.15. So the moon rose about 45 minutes ago. That's the arc, and tonight it'll go super low. It'll stay very low tonight. Just have a few minutes to film the strawberry full moon here before it disappears behind some clouds. It's not really worth filming, but I've learned it's always worth filming. Hey, isn't that cool? Look at that. Hopefully it'll be more clear tomorrow night, but I want to just capture a few minutes here. I'm going for the zoom max to work quickly here. It's very cloudy, so I doubt I will get very much footage and it looks about it for the strawberry moon tonight okay it's about a 95% strawberry moon right here It's very clear all of a sudden. It was cloudy earlier and I cannot resist an opportunity to film the moon, even though I've filmed it hundreds of times. It's still worth it. It's amazing. It's the max right there. How's that for some definition? <laughs> Just having a look at the Tycho or Tycho crater in the lower portion. They are claiming that the inside of the crater is 85 kilometers wide. <laughs> and uh, to believe that the moon is 286 some odd thousand miles away.
How's that? Just a very spectacular moon right now. And focusing on the Tycho Crater. As you can see, the moon is not really going up anymore at all. It's just moving left. I'm oh, sorry, right. So it means it's already past its meridian. Oh no, it is moving very slightly up. But I was talking about the Tycho Crater. And they are saying the center of the crater is 85 kilometers wide. And for anyone to believe that the moon is 286,000 miles away, I think that is a major problem for the heliocentric believer. I'm going to try to uh, zoom in on it. Okay, so there's the max zoom. Tycho Crater, 85 kilometers wide. 